Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to video 12 of uh, Inexilium uh, development progress. Uh, this last week uh, was the last week to download the gameplay demo. Um, I just uh, removed the link from the site uh, and removed the link from the third party uh, uh, source. Um, I just want to thank everybody who downloaded the demo uh, and gave feedback. Um, it's got a lot more attention and was uh, better received than I, I thought it would, so uh, I really appreciate that, and I got a, I definitely got some good feedback from it, too. Um, okay, well, uh, this is going to be a short video this week, because uh, this, this past week was kind of a short week for me um, due to the 4th, and I had a couple busy days at work, um, and I also just got the new uh, MacBook Pro, um, so I've just been playing around with that. Um, so I don't have a lot to show. Um, this week, but I do have a couple things um, that I want to show off. Okay, um, so first thing I'll want to show off is that I changed the item pickup method. Before, previously, there used to be if you walked over an item, there were buttons that appeared on the side that you'd have to click over to pick up an item. But now, um, if you walk near an item, a little button just appears right above where where the item is, and you can click and pick up uh, pick up from there. Um, I think that this is going to make just that whole process of picking up items a lot easier. That was one thing that I definitely got feedback on from uh, from the demo and people just to we're watching videos in the past where uh, just it, it seems to be a just a better mechanic to have the the ability to run over to an item and then right when you're next to your item you don't have to move your mouse all the way across the screen to pick it up you can just click and pick it up from there um, the second thing uh, is and this was came from just myself playing and and also feedback from the demo the colliders basically for the windows um, have been expanded uh, relatively significantly. I think that um, this is going to help with uh, players who were trying to interact with the merchant um, and kept accidentally clicking like either in between these tab buttons over here because there was no collider there. So if you clicked in between the tab buttons, you would accidentally start running. So I feel like that was kind of a common complaint too that people would be interacting with the windows and they would be accidentally moving all around to... Um, so I increased just the size of the colliders here to really kind of reduce the probability that somebody's going to accidentally click like between, you know, the buttons or or they're trying to like drag the window and they accidentally click like a pixel above it and, uh, you know, they start running away and they're doing something that they don't want to do. So uh, that's, that's going to help out with that, hopefully. Um, and then the final thing. Uh, is is I added support for different resolutions. So instead of having to play on that uh, four three, I think was the aspect ratio, the standalone kind of aspect ratio in a forced frame mode. Uh, now, uh, depending on the player's uh, resolution of choice, they can uh, it'll run uh, correctly in that, or things will look right. This uh, this resolution right now, I think, is 16 by 9. Um, it has support for the standalone, which is 4 3, 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Uh, it also has will work with 16 by 10 and 16 by 9. So all three of those, if you want to play on a full high def widescreen, um, all the items will will be uh, fixed uh, to their correct locations on the screen. Um, all right, that's I mean that's all I've done so far uh, this week. Um, because I didn't work too much this week on an exam, I'm going to spend this next week and work on it too. Um, I'm going to be working on some of the things that I've learned from the demo. Uh, I'll, I'll explain those next week once I implement them. And uh, the first new kind of big feature that I'm going to add and start working on this week also is creating a multiple character kind of account thing with savable characters. So now you'll be able to have uh, multiple characters uh, of different classes, whatever you can play around, and you'll be able to save them um, so you can come back and play play with them later. Um, Alright, well that's, uh, that's all I have this week. Like I said, it's going to be a short video. Um, 
please uh, check out the latest Triplicity update uh, if you haven't already. Uh, that game's coming along too. Um, and uh, feel free to rate, uh, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps with getting uh, some attention to you know first conflicts games. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next week with some Inexilium updates.